Hello everyone, uh, we are continuing with the, our subtopic traffic dangers and under traffic dangers we are going to look at some new words today and uh, one of the words we are going to look at today is first aid. First word here is first aid. What do we mean here when you see the word first aid? You know this is a word you can define in different ways. In the science, I remember you have its own special definition for this word here. But we are going to say first aid is a simple treatment given to a person before a doctor comes or before a person is taken to the hospital. We are saying first aid is a simple treatment. It is just a simple treatment given to a person That treatment is given to a person before a doctor comes or or before a person is taken to the before the person is taken to the hospital. That's what we mean, first aid. And you find that there is a person who's responsible for giving you first aid. That person can be called first aider. This one is now now. The person who gives first aid is called first aider. So this one is a person, which means that if I set my sentence, if I give you a question of this kind, I can say the dash were thanked by the onlookers. This is our sentence here. The Dutch were fact by the on Lucas. Then I put in a bracket. My word in bracket is first aid. You find that you will read the sentence, understand the question, and find out the suitable word, the correct form of the word given in bracket. You will find that the correct answer here will be first aid. That means our sentence will be the first aider was thanked by the onlookers. What we mean by onlookers here, this could be people who are around in the scene of accident. People who are looking at someone who has got an accident. Those people who were there, who were present in that particular time. These are the ones we refer as onlookers. So the first aider could have gone there and helped that person 
before that person who got an accident was taken to the hospital. So our correct answer here is first aider. So you copy the word first aid and then you add er to form the word first aider. That will be our answer. Then we have had a sentence using first aider, which is a person who gives first aid. What about if we are to make a sentence using first aid? We can say Juma was given first aid before he was taken to the hospital. This is our sentence using the word first aid. I have said Juma was given first aid before he was taken to the hospital. It means that this guy Juma might have got an accident and before he was taken to the hospital, he was given first aid. And who gave him the first aid? Remember we said the word responsible for giving first aid is called first aider. So we can have other sentences using the word eh? first aid. But let us look at our word too. Another word we want to look at here is highway code. We have the word highway code. You find that highway here is one word. High is joined to way to form the word highway. Then a small space and then here, the word code. When we talk of highway code, we are referring to the official rules for the drivers and other users of the public roads. We are saying highway code refers to the official rules. They are just official rules. So when, when you hear the word highway code, just know that they are the official rules used by the drivers and other road users. Those are what we call highway code. It can also mean a book that contains these rules. Yes, it can mean a book that contains rules used by drivers and other road users. That's what we mean by highway code. Now, if we mean, if we say that it also means a book, that means if we have a book as highway code, If we take it as a book, one can be highway code and then many will be highway codes.
So you should know the plural form. In that case, if we take it as in a book, you can be given a highway code, you can be given highway codes. That is the plural form. So if we make a sentence using our word highway code, we can say all road users must observe highway code. We're saying all road users must observe highway code. That means every road user should observe highway code. And what are these road users here? The examples of road users. You know very well that we have the motorists. We have the motorists. We also have uh, cyclists. We have pedestrians. Mentioned but a few. We have motorists, remember motorists from moto, from the word moto. Sometimes we give you these words in bracket when we are looking for the correct form of the word. Motorists from the word moto, cyclists from the word cycle, Then we have pedestrians. Remember, these are the ones who walk on a road. So we are saying all road users must observe highway code. We have used our highway code in a sentence, just like you will also write your own sentences. Then the other word we need also to know is the word island. The word is island. You must have heard this word. You must have learned about it in social studies. But here it is again. We may not give the other meaning we used in SST, but we can have something similar to that. Sometimes this island here is called traffic island. You can also call it traffic island. When we talk of traffic island, we mean to say that part of the road. Actually, it is in the middle of the road. The part in the middle of the road where you can stand, wait for the cars to go past until it is safe for you to cross the road. That's the part we refer as a traffic island. Part of a road. Or we say part in the middle of the road. The other side, you find that the road is that middle of part. The other cars are passing this side, the other ones are passing the other side. Then that part in the middle, it is in the middle of the road. So when you walk from this side, you go to the middle and you wait for the cars to go past. Then when it is safe for you to cross the road, you cross. 
that is the part we refer as traffic island. There are some things that you need to know about this traffic island. One of them, at times we can just write it in short. When we write in short, we use capital I. We can just put capital I like that to represent island. Remember, I put my capital I without a dot, but still it means island. Again, I can put my capital I, then I put a dot. It will still mean the same thing, island. That's two. The third way of writing it, I can use capital I and small s. My capital I is there, then I put small s. Still, if you are to write this in full, it remains island. So, in case you are asked to write I, capital I in full, just write there island. If it is capital I with a dot, still stands for island. Also, capital I, small s, still stands for island. So, you should know how to write in full and you should also know how to write it in short. This one is similar to this word here, I. It is similar to the word I. This one is used in poetry. The word I is used in poetry. Those of you who like poem very much, you find that this word is used in poetry when they are describing the characters. So, at times, this word I is also shortened in the same way. That means that if you are having I, I dot, or I, S, still, if you wrote there I, it's the same thing. It, this word I is also abbreviated in the same way. So you should know that. So we can have our sentence which says as soon as the pedestrian crossed the first, the first part of the road he stepped the island as soon as the pedestrian crossed the first part of the road he stepped the island So I've used my word island in a sentence by saying as soon as the pedestrian crossed the first part of the road, he stepped the island. Like I told you, island is just that middle part of the road. So you cross this side, step the island and wait for the cars to cross when it is safe for you to go. Ah, then you cross the road. That part is called the island. So that's our word, the island. Remember how to write it in short and also how to write it in a full. The first word we want to look at is traffic lights. We want to look at the word traffic lights. Traffic lights. 
traffic lights. Remember when we talk about traffic lights, we are referring to a signal that controls the flow of traffic. Signal. We are saying traffic lights, these are just signals that control the flow of traffic on the road. They control the flow of traffic by the means of red. Saying by means of red, green, and orange, which some people refer as yellow. So they control traffic by means of red, like we have seen. There's this red color. When red color signals, you know what it means. You find that all the vehicles stop. That's how they control. And then as time goes by, you find that these signals show orange. And then, as time goes, you find them showing green. So all these colors are very, very important to the drivers and other road users. So when you are using the road, we must observe the traffic lights. It's very, very important. Like I can have my sentence and I say, as soon as the traffic lights signaled red, all the vehicles stopped. Soon, as the traffic lights signaled red, all the vehicles stopped. Remember to begin your sentence with a capital letter and end it with a full stop. I put my comma in the middle of my sentences because I started with as soon as. Remember very well that when we are using this structure, as soon as at the beginning of the sentence, then we need the use of a comma in the middle of your sentence. I have used the word trafficking lights in a sentence. You will also use the word traffic lights and form various sentences. And also find out the meaning of each color. Like I'm saying red means stop. What about orange? What does it mean to you? Then what about green? What does it mean to you as a road user? Whether you're a pedestrian, you're a cyclist, you're a motorist, we need to observe this traffic lights very well so as to avoid accidents on the road. So, I'm going to give you some trial numbers here. I'm going to ask you to do a simple activity. And with this simple activity, In this simple activity, in my number one, I can say, right? Right in full. 
This is my number one. Write in the fall. A. I S. B. Capital R. Small o D. Then dot. Remember. A. Capital I. Small S. What is it in full? Then e, B. Capital R. Small o D. Dot. What is it in full? Then number two. I will ask you to complete. You're going to use the correct form. You're going to use the correct form of the word in brackets and the number two number two says the dash was sunk by the onlookers The dash was thanked by the own Lucas in bracket first aid. Number three. When he reached the road hams, he dashed the speed. When he reached the road humps, he dashed the speed in bracket reduce. Remember, I started our sentence with when and I've put a comma in the middle of the sentence, like we said. When you begin a sentence with when, we need a comma in the middle. That's why I've said, when he reached the road hubs, he dashed the speed in bracket reduce. Our number four is, that is the dash officer I have come across since morning. That is the dash officer I have come across since morning in bracket five. That is the dash officer I have come across since morning in bracket five. So I want you to attempt these numbers, try them, read and understand and fill in correctly. Also write the abbreviations correctly. Thank you very much.